Hello viewers, I want to give a shout out to the real master in this video. Oh, don't get blurry on me, stupid camera. I want to give a very special shout out to the real master in this one. Because the real master has received its electro recorder. Not in good shape. And with many missing parts, it's too dark to even see that part. With many mi missing parts that he's working on rebuilding. It's just Electro Recorder. Well, at an estate sale, I found the same model to Electro Recorder. So this video will be a special video dedicated to the real master. For it will show that special model recorder that the real master likes a lot. Electro by Emerson Radio. And here are the instructions. And read a reel and I know. It will be too not clear enough to even read while pausing, which is sad. I took this thing off that said that what tubes went because I put new capacitors, electro, new, new electrolytics in because the original ones were leaky and there was a loud 60 hertz hum when you turn it on after warming up. And then the wires go into this little P, uh, perf board where I mounted the capacitors on. Um, made it unable to put this cardboard piece back on. I didn't do the best job. The capacitors are just kind of, you know, bored of the capacitors are dangling in there close to the heat producing vacuum tubes. Some people may frown on that deeply, but I'm just stating what happened. I ain't perfect. I didn't do a perfect job. I'm probably not going to run this for too long anyway. To hopefully not build up too much heat near the caps. Um, but anyway, one annoying thing about this, a cheap type done thing about this is no, uh, it has no power transformer in it, so it has a hot chassis. Um, so it has the filaments wired in series, I'm sure, because it has, you know, those high voltage filament tubes like. 50 CD4, 50 BM8, which are 50 volt filament. That would be 100 volts plus the 12 volts there, which would make um, 112 volts. You might get me getting a little bit too much into the filaments, but anyway. Let's turn on the reader reader. The belts are still good on this reel to reel. The mechanical part works just fine whenever I did the when I first powered it up when I got it. But then of course I heard the hum from bad filter caps. But one thing I'm very disappointed is even with the new electrolytic capacitors, the audio is just not loud on playback. It seems to record fine when I played a recording I made on this on another machine, but playback on this is just so quiet with the volume and with the volume all the way up it's just very sad but it does work I sprayed the record play switch and I may have sprayed the volume knob if I remember it doesn't have any static so I probably did spray it and also I sprayed the um, bearing sprayed where the record play switches switch post goes into the switch because it was frozen and the switch did not want to switch easily at all. So I sprayed WD-40 in there, lots of it. Got a lot a vice grip, vice grip to the switch post and kept going, make it going the switch back and forth over and over and over and over and over and over to try to free it up enough where it would actually go and record and back to play whenever I do the controls. I talked too much. I took too much time. This video will be longer than 15 minutes. Here is the original microphone. But from trying to record with it, this microphone seems to be completely dead. Nothing out of it. So I'm using this other microphone here, which goes to, oh, to a WebCore recorder. 
So let's make a recording on this. Te electro. Ah, one hand is never a good idea. Okay. Here I'm recording on the, this electro. I think this neon light lights up whenever you're overdriving it. Because I made a recording on it of music one time and and um, whenever I uh, started out the recording it wasn't lighting up and then I turned it up a little bit and then it was lighting up and then playing back I noticed this part at the beginning sounded pretty clear but then it got distorted later on so I think it was distorted when it came with the light was on so I think the light only goes for whenever it's overdriving so let's see how this sounds on the Selectro and yeah the volume is now all the way up it's not oh actually it's not that bad on sensitivity let's see how this will be rewind And yeah, the volume is now all the way up. It's not, oh, actually, it's not that bad. The volume is all the way up, but it's not loud at all. Oh, that was horrible. Rewound it the least bit that you can ever imagine. We were overdriving it because I made a recording on it of music one time. And, and here on quarter of the quiet it is. It might sound loud on the uh, video, but the trust me, this thing is not up, loud for it to be off the whole way. And it was lighting up, and then playing back, I noticed this part at the beginning sounded pretty clear, but then it got distorted later on, so I think it was distorted when it came with the light was on, so I think the light only goes for whenever it's overdriving, so let's see how this sounds on the select room. And yeah, the volume is now all the way up. Here's the it's hum not, distortion oh, is still not perfectly filtered. Let's see how this will be. This, this recorder is just, this was definitely a cheaper model back in the day. Even though it is AC bias, it doesn't mean that this one was any anyone any high end or any really up there recorder. This was probably one of the cheaper recorders on the market. Now, no power transformer, extremely basic, and um, quality is not very good at all. Treble is none there's no treble the amplifier is is not loud at all now let's go for three and three fourths okay i'm now recording at three and three fourths inches per second let's see how this sounds um it's an interesting recorder it looks pretty cool um but i wish it would have uh, performed better i wish the amplifier was louder and that the quality was uh had better or the high end and you know the treble and uh, also um didn't have the hum distortion they should have put a better circuit into this recorder and they should have used a power transformer to separate the um, thing from the AC line. I recommend, if you don't know already, um, do not under any circumstances hook a hot chassis, which is a, a hot chassis is an unisolated chassis, meaning your, your circuit is not isolated by a power transformer. Never, under any circumstances, hook a hot chassis circuit to a computer. I hope none of you have tried it already, but back in 2004, a home-built tube amplifier that I had, which had a hot chassis, did not use an isolation transformer for the plate supply, I plugged it into the computer's audio output and I literally saw a spark jump across as I plugged the jack in and it fried the motherboard of course because it was cheap the computer's sound was built onto the motherboard instead of having a separate sound card you know what that means instead of frying the sound card it has to fry the entire motherboard and I had to pay for it too it's over a hundred bucks to pay for it it sucked so don't ever hook a hot chassis to a computer and plus, from that, my parents for a long time never let me hook anything up to the computer thinking it would destroy it. But I've learned since then, and now I hook up all kinds of things to the computer, but I don't dare hook this up to the computer. What bear, 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 bear through this. Volume's up all the way. It's, it's not very loud at all, trust me. It ain't loud. Even if the video it sounds loud, it might, but it's not. It is quiet. I know this video, um, I just, I don't know, I get, I get 
looking at the bad side on videos because I always get annoyed whenever I make a video long or talk too much, like, because okay, it takes forever. Yeah. Um, this medicine recorder looks pretty cool. Um, I think it's I mean, this is horrible. The three and three four sound quality sounds like maybe a recorder, at a good, a three three fourths on this sounds more like a maybe a good recorder at fifteen sixteenth IPS. Okay, but um, yeah, it's pretty cool looking. I'm glad I got this model in honor of the real master, but. I just have to say I am disappointed with its performance and its quality is very disappointing. So um, I don't want to feel bad about that. It's just they could have done better with this machine. Maybe it is still a problem. Maybe the other caps are bad on the board. Maybe that's why it's not loud. The only thing is the other caps on there seem to be the kind of caps that don't go bad. I think they were like Myler or something. I don't think that they go bad. They, they weren't paper and um, they weren't bumblebees or whatever. I don't think they were would have been bad, but who knows for sure. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video of this um, uh, Telectro. I like to say, you know, like a robotic Electro, Telectro. You know, this recorder. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye. This video was way too long, like all my videos are. Well, almost all my videos are. Because I talk too much. 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 Way too much. I should make a separate... I know I'm talking too much even more. It's the irony of it all. I should make a... or have a separate... Or maybe on my cassette twenty six channel. Maybe I could start uploading videos of recorder where I don't say anything, or if I do, it's very minimal. Just shorter, the shorter, concise and to the point videos for someone to see a tape recorder without uh, waiting hours of me talking. I quoted hours because obviously it's an exaggeration. I'm just checking to make sure my camera still works after it fell down and this car just tripped it right out. <laughs>